When I first started encapsulating electronic components, I used to store the silicon chips by super gluing them to microscope slides. One of the chips that I have like this is the CPU from a broken Nintendo Game Boy Advance. Unfortunately, I don't have a video of this process, but I do have these photographs. With the help of some hot air, I was able to easily extract the silicon chip from inside the epoxy package. In addition to being a rather beautiful chip to look at, there's a lot of interesting things going on. For example, the big blocks are the WRAM and the VRAM, and the smaller rectangle in the sea of wires is the main processing core, the ARM7 TDMI. This chip also includes a second CPU, the Sharp SM83, which is the original Game Boy CPU. That being said, I haven't actually been able to determine where the second CPU is. If you want to learn more about the CPU, I recommend checking out the article written by Rodrigo Copetti. I have it linked in the description of this video.